Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Git tutorial, we are going to learn the importance of branching in Git. So branching is very important, whether it's any, you know, version control system, whether it's Git or any other, branching is uh, the practice that usually is followed in any software development project or in test automation because it will save you a lot of issues or it will, it will prevent a lot of issues that can happen if you are directly working on the main branch. Now, working on the main branch, branch if you are just one or two people working on a project then that's still maintainable or you can still you know like collaborate and maintain it but that's not recommended so usually branching is important and i'll explain why exactly the branching is important what branches are so like the tree has different branches right so in the software practice in the development as well there is a trunk which is basically known as a main or master right which you have been working till now so there is a main branch or the master branch which is something like a trunk you can say something like this right so i will simply write this as the main or you can also say somewhere it's say refer to as master or main okay so this is your say for example main branch and what exactly is main branch it is the repository you can say which holds all the files that need to be released so now this say for example this is your timeline right so in here whenever the project is started so there is a certain thing or there is some requirement that needs to be fulfilled as part of that application right so there will be some features that you are that you will start developing so say for example this is today's date right where I've highlighted and then three months down the line which is here you want to do release one right you want to release first version of this software right and until then you are developing you are basically developing certain features so when you are developing certain features or there is there are teams there are members in the team there will be multiple people and each person will be responsible for a couple of features or they say for example at one point of time you will be working on one particular feature now if everyone starts working and pushing in the code in the ma main branch every day there will be a lot of conflict right so what is done is if say for example in the initial stages the master branch is set everyone will clone the code that is there in the master branch and then start working for that particular feature right so say for example if you are starting fresh everyone will you know just start with a create a branch and then start with the feature so there will be developer one say for example he is working on the feature one so they will create feature one branch from the master from the ma master or main branch then other person will create another feature branch feature two and that's how the branches will keep will will be getting created now once the person has created the branch they'll keep working on these branches so now everyone is working in isolation there is no overlap basically right so say for example once i have um, you know cloned all the code that is there from the master everything is in my local in this particular branch and now i'll be adding the feature whatever i'll i'll need to work on okay once i'm done with this feature then i can raise the pull request and the code can be merged in the main branch right so this is how the work will happen now once i'm done i can another i have assigned i have been assigned another feature then i'll again create a branch and i will say feature three that's what i'm working on once the feature is done i'll then again merge it in the main branch so this way it is a lot easier to maintain and manage the conflicts because you are working in isolation everyone's working in isolation and once the work is completed then the work is being pushed back to the main branch and by the time the release is there everyone is developing and merging the code into the main branch and during the release one whatever features have been developed this is basically released and when we say release it is basically packaged and you know deployed in the production server after being tested and then released to the customer right so this is how the usual cycle will go on now in the release two say for example there are some more features so similar pattern will keep going on by the development team and releases will happen okay the other case is say for example i have a feature which needs to be deployed as part of the release 3 and not release 2 right so if you do not create a branch for that particular feature then after release 1 you create a branch for the feature that needs to go in release 3 but if you keep developing that feature in main branch then you can't segregate that right so you need to segregate the feature that needs to go in branch 3 so you just create a branch out of it and then once the release 2 happens after that you then basically if the development has happened
deployment then you merge it in the main branch so that it can go into the release 3 deployment right so these are some of the very basic use cases why branching is important and why it is the most important thing in the release life cycle of the software development so i will take one of the diagram which is which explains so let me open this particular url so this is this is very good example of uh, using the branches and importance basically from this particular web website so if you see here right this diagram i'll expand it a little bit so if you see this particular diagram so this is where say for example your release has happened okay now after the release one there was a defect which has been raised which needs to be fixed or within the release itself right so for, say for example the deployment has happened in the main branch and testers found the defect then there was a defect that needs to be fixed so there is a branch created for this defect fix right then there is a new feature that other developer is working they, they will create another branch out of this main branch and then there is another feature which is adding the sidebar to a website right so fixing the video display issue defect adding a new feature of description and then adding a sidebar to the website or web portal these three different work items need to be done right now if you keep doing everything on the main branch then there is a high possibility of conflict so this person who is fixing the bug they might work on some of the common components which might get impacted or which imp might impact this this feature or the person's work that is doing this feature then they might also impact this person's feature so once they everyone create a branch right they are working in isolation they are just working or fixing fixing the issue that they have been assigned and the feature development and once the work is being done right so this if you see this is the header is ready and the video display is ready now as part of this release when the defect is fixed this person will then merge it back to the main branch right so the defect is fixed now when the new feature is add sidebar is completed they'll come back and merge it in the main branch when this particular feature description feature is there done they'll come back and merge in the main branch right so finally you will see that the merged main branch will look like the defect has been fixed this particular feature is ready and sidebar is ready right and this header was anyways ready and now if this is what is the release that needs to go or happen then this whole main branch will be packaged and deployed and this is how the release will happen okay so this is you know the importance of branching basically why it is important so it is important because everyone in the team can work in isolation and there will be very minimal conflicts that could happen if everyone is working on the main branch that means there is a common repository on which there are 10 people trying to fetch the common files and then say for example a file contains a b c d e then there is a possibility somebody is working on a and then another person is also modifying that a method in that same file right so if that happens there is a lot of conflict and which we'll understand when we go ahead with the merge conflict in git and how to resolve those conflicts right so this is brief about the branching and the importance of branching in git so that's all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful thank you very much for watching